folks, welcome to OVW Overdrive, the show that always kicks out at two. I am your host and a broadcast weight champion, Brian Kinnison with me as always, Dance and Stevie J and Casanova of the nursing home, Steven Johnson. Now with this broadcast weight championship, are you gonna go and fashion yourself a belt like Shannon the Dude did? Or? Nah, I don't feel like, I feel like it's more of an implied title. It's not so much stuff that I need to like, you know, visually display. Like an honorary thing. Yeah, it's nothing tangible. Sure. It's nothing tangible. Okay. Like our Christmases, you know? Anyway, we have a great, great show for you today, folks. So much action, so much excitement, and it makes sense because we are heading towards one of the most exciting events of the year, the Nightmare Cup on November 7th. November 7th is, is quickly approaching. The eight team, I almost said eight man, eight team tournament to decide who faces off against the legacy of brutality. And we found out something, uh, kind of crazy about who's going to be representing the legacy of brutality at the Nightmare Cup uh, for a chance at the Tag Team Championships. Now Steve teased a little bit of some tantalizing there. We will get back to that later on in the show, but first let's go ahead and get into some action. Let's go ahead and go ringside for the Golden Boy AJZ facing off against Brandon Espy Espinoza. Let's check it out. I almost want to tell him now, but we can't tell him now. No, shh, shh, shh. And uh, AJZ, he is the golden boy, so he wants the gold to match. That and is here sure. comes Espy right off the bat before the bell. Oh, my. Pump AJZ has already. him up. Boom. Down Pump to the mat he goes. Handle slam. He wants to get this thing over early. Well, and also show off the, uh, the muscles. Boom. Oh. Big <laughs> knee down to Espinosa now. He says it's over already. Is this 626 six time be. already? No. Espy fights out of it, sends him into the corner. Oh, oh my gosh. He hit shoulder first, that left shoulder into that hard steel. That's how you take the sails as, out of a big guy like AJZ. Boom, oh. big clothesline. Takes him back down to the mat. Up and over, bam. In for the cover now. Just a one count there. Like I said, AJZ wanted to get things started early, but uh, Espinosa knows how to contend with that. Big elbows to the side of the face now. This goes to show you how quickly things can change. Taking the boots to him now. You know, AJZ started off really strong, and just like that, Brandon Espinosa flipped the script on him, man. Yeah, we, you know, we talked about AJZ wanting to get to the top, wanting the title. Espinosa wants everybody to know he's a veteran. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. He's a veteran, but that doesn't mean he's done. Ducks under the clothesline there. Oh! Bang, flying cross body there. Down for the cover. Only a one count. Goes back for the reverse chin lock. And AJC just trying to find out any way he can. Referee in there making sure that doesn't have that choke. The crowd definitely behind AJZ today. Oh! Big knee to the back from Espinosa. Then right back to the reverse chin lock. And see what he's doing here. AJZ started off so quick, he's got to ground him a little bit, take a little bit of that wind out of him. Only two ways to really ground a big guy like AJZ. Oh. Good night. Let's take the legs out from under him and take that wind out of him. Big elbows to Espinosa. Going to send him back in, but AJ up and over. Rolls through, he says, let's do Boom. it. Big clothesline, takes him down to the mat. Bam, Another again. One. Into the ropes now, boom, Back big elbow. elbow. AJZ is fired up now. Look at the intensity on his face. Look Here at he this, comes. boom, big splash. Up to the ropes now, on top. What's he gonna do here? Nope. Tried to take his legs out from under him to uh, ground him and didn't work, but oh. Look at Espinosa now. AJZ trying to get up, oh, trying to get him up. Is he? Does he have him? Nope. Oh. That's still power, though. That's, that's still a, a knock the wind out of you. That's a big boy to get up there, and yeah, you drop him straight on his chest, knocking the. No, oh, now, wait a now come on. You're not going to get a win on a vet like Espinosa with your foot on top of him. AJZ, I think, knows better than he that. He knows he, better. He, he does. He's just letting his emotions uh -oh. take over. Has him up. Trying Espin to get for that six-two-six. Six. Nope. Unwind. Oh. Misses with a kick. Here it is. Wait, six, two, six. Boom, and he lands it. Goes in for the cover now. One, two, three. That's it. Your winner, AJZ.
There he goes again, AJZ, as we said, the Golden Boy wants the gold and another win over a very, very prime competitor in Brandon S.P. Espinoza. You know, a great back and forth contest there. At the end of the day, though, AJZ is victorious on overdrive. Well, hey, big win there for the Golden Boy, AJZ. Now, uh, Brandon Espinosa. I'm going to see, I'm gonna see if I can do his, his AJZ's what signature move, I guess. Hold on. Oh, that, oh he does that, that thing. Yeah, thing. yeah. But somehow you had to make your, your, your teeth like 50 shades wider and your, your tights what are you saying so of, much tighter. Are you saying that my teeth aren't white? I'm saying that his are blinding. They're like a shimmering jet engines. Anyway, yeah, mine are more we, we have a great, great show for you lined up this morning. The action's as hot as shimmering jet engines, and we're going to be right back with a lot uh, more action, so not, stick around. Not only do we have that, but we've got a fantastic interview segment set up with the OVW heavyweight champion, Tony Gunn. Wait, what? Isn't that going to be fun for you? What? Oh, it's your turn. Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. Our number one priority in life is the protection of our loved ones and ourselves. We at Comprehensive Health and Wellness are here to help. During these challenging and uncertain times, Comprehensive Health and Wellness can supply you with the personal protection equipment you need for you and your loved ones to feel more secure. Go to chw.care or call 800-963-7066 to get yours today. That's chw.care or 800-963-7066. Okay, you invite Tony Gunn. Last time I was in the ring with Tony Gunn, he threw me across the ring. He assaulted me, grabbed me by my neck. This is ridiculous. You know what? You know what the collar and elbow word of the day is? Collarxelbow.com. Get some sweet threads. You know what it is, Steven? The word of the day is... <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, no, stop me. it. Stop. Be a professional. We've had an agreement since we started the show of how the interviews work, and just because you went and upset the OVW Heavyweight Champion by calling him a coward to his face, I would not have recommended that you would have done that, but whatever, own up to it. You're doing the interview. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, okay. Uh, look, I'm very uncomfortable. Uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, Speaking of uncomfortable, let's check out Dylan. Let's just Lawrence he recently had some issues with uh, Roman Roselle and heard his juiciness. Uh, we heard about Luscious Lawrence's thoughts on the ongoings. Uh, let me go check it out. Luscious Lawrence and Dylan Queen, you yelled at me. Check it out. I'm angry. Now, wait a minute. Where is Luscious? It's been a while since we've seen him. Of course, last time we. Oh, oh no! Well, you know, the last time we saw Luscious, Roman Roselle did a number on him. Yes, he did. We haven't seen Roman Roselle since then. Uh, I, I think there's been some fines levied, maybe a little suspension. We just haven't seen Roman around. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Look out. He's in bad shape. Somebody can help him. Now, wait a minute. This this does not look legit. I'm, I'm, is it? No, what are you guy? He's come hurt. On. The man's hurt. He's on a crutch. He's got a neck brace on. Well, I he can barely walk. Roman had him locked in that uh, Patriots wheel for a long time. Didn't let go. Decision reversed. So Lush has got the win. That's That's been several weeks ago. There's some torn ligaments. He, he's got ligament damage. I mean, look, he's in, he was in traction. Look at him. He's, he can barely get in the ring. Now, rig. wait. I saw him walking around earlier today without that crutch. I, I, no, I, he showed up to the arena. He had people helping him in. Look, he can barely find his way into the ring. Well, of course, he's going to get help here from Dylan McQueen. Brutal, just brutal. Oh, be careful. Look at the agony he's in. Pure, pure agony, you're right. Thank goodness that Dylan McQueen is here to help. Look how devastated Dylan is. I can see the tears streaming down Dylan McQueen's face it's right awful, now. It's awful, it's awful. Looking, looking for the microphone. Shut up! Have some respect! Shut up! 
He's in so much pain. Look at me, Roman. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my luscious leg. What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to wrestle? How am I supposed to do what I love? You took that away, Roman. How am I supposed to provide for my family? How am I supposed to provide for my little girl? You took food off her plate, Roman. She cried when she saw what you did to me. She cried, Roman. Come on now. Come on. You claim to be some military hero? You're no hero. Would a hero attack an innocent civilian? Right. Innocent? Innocent. I don't think this Would a hero do something like that? You're... I can't believe you. you should be ashamed of yourself, Roman. He should be. You claim to represent all these people. You only care about yourself. Luscious should be ashamed of what he's This is not good for you. <laughs> you shouldn't be got worked up like this. You know what? Roman Rizal is just an example of this United States military. It's full of nothing but bullies, just like all you people. Oh, now come You on. don't care about Luscious Lords. He is an American hero, and Roman Rizal should be tried for treason! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's wait somebody minute. else who knows what something about the military. Here? What's going on? Here's Omar Amir. What's he doing what out here? What are you here? doing out here? Look out now. Yeah, you don't, you don't get away with saying something about the U.S. military without- You better stay back. Of our own coming in here to defend it. Listen, 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 listen. I have something to say. I'm, I'm gonna tell both of you a little story, okay? I moved here from the Bahamas, okay? I came here to wrestle, and when I came here, I decided what better way to contribute to America than to join the military. So guess what? That's what I did, okay? The military took me places I've never been. I saw things I'd never seen. Okay, the military affords both of you the luxuries that you take for granted, okay? You wanna talk about luxuries, huh? No, no, hey, hey, don't cut me off, shut up. All right? That's rude. The military allows you to wear that stupid pink jacket. Hey, this isn't stupid. All right? The military allows you to put those jerry curls in your head. All right, all right? So guess what? Neither of you are gonna disrespect the military in front of me. Amen. Let me tell you something. First of all, this is the finest suit. Second of all, the United States military does nothing but build little ponds. And guess what? Things wait, wait, aren't wait, wait, always wait, wait. Oh, my. as they I seem. I told you. Oh. It's a miracle. Oh. Stop it. Look, he's healed. It's a miracle of miracles. <laughs> I told you he that's, was putting on a show. That's adrenaline right there. Come that is on. adrenaline. Omar came out here and-, and Choke him! Choke him out! What happens? We'll make an example out of you, just like we did Roman Roselle. Oh my gosh. He's There's your crush. hero right there. You need some help out here That's your hero. Here. These two just can't stop this. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't take this. Here, come, here come some officials to get him out. Get, stop oh with that crutch God. again. <laughs> get that mic away from him. He's Dylan hurt. He's, he just said he's hurt. You heard him. Luscious Lawrence, Dylan McQueen doing what they do best, pulling this ruse here. Talking bad about the U.S. military, and now they've got another victim in Omar Amir. Well, you know Omar is not going to take that. We'll get back to Steven and Brian here a little bit, get this sorted out, and have more action on Overdrive. Just stop yelling at me. Okay, so you saw Luscious Lawrence and Dylan, and, and Luscious Lawrence, healed by the power of juiciness, was able to take it. Was able to take out Omar Amir. Now, Omar Amir was in action earlier that night, and we're gonna be able to check that out here in just a moment, right after the break. Are you gonna yell at me after the break? Probably. Was, no, all right.
Have you ever had the dream of being a part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment? Take action and make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, Ohio Valley Wrestling, the birthplace of legends such as John Cena, Batista, Brock Lesnar, Cody Rhodes, The Miz, and many, many more. Will you be the next name to be added to that impressive list? Go to ASWA Live now for more information. Learn the right way. Hi, my name is Barry Radcliffe. You might recognize me from such films as The Longest Ride or Dead 2. Now, as a successful actor, I have two planes, a supermodel wife, countless exotic cars, and a ton of cash. You might think it couldn't get any better than this, but you'd be wrong for only $4.99. You could get OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. That's OVWWrestlingNetwork.com for only $4.99. Now, will your life be as good as this? No! Will it be better? Yes, and I guarantee that. That's not valid anywhere. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99. Tomorrow's yesterday is today. Price is so low, they're insane. Here we go. He's got size, he's got power, he's got speed. He's really got all the tools you need to be one of the major players here in OVW. A little trash talk, colored elbow tie up. Here we go. Battle of strength here. Omar, nope, nope. Rex is pushing him back in the Hello. corner. Wow. Not every day you see Omar Amir outpowered. Ducks oh my the goodness. Line. Wow. Whoa. Big strike oh. kick, drop kick right in the face. Good Lord. Come nice spike on that corner. drop kick. Uh oh. Ooh. I said he's got the power, but uh, he didn't have it on that one. Not to pick up the big man Rex. Yeah, Over 300 pounds there. I think Rex is too fresh right now. Got to wear him down a little bit. Blocks the punch. Another punch from Omar Amir. Look at this. My God. Oh, oh my up, gosh. Up over, the, over top the top rope. Out to the floor. Oh, he, he landed hard on that knee down here. There is not a lot of padding out here on the, on the ringside area. That is concrete with a little bit of padding. Rex going right out after him. He needs to get him back Look to out the ring. Here, Eric. He's, he's oh. Over here near us. A little too close for comfort uh, for me. <laughs> get him back. Yeah, take him back into the ring, Rex. We don't want him over here. Plus, the ring is where the match happens. You can only get that, uh, that pinfall or submission when you're in there. Absolutely. Don't want to settle for that count out. Oh, shots to the gut. Omar trying to make a comeback here. Oh, my God. Brutal forearm to the face. Into the ropes he goes. Rex brings it. Oh, my like that. Gosh. Jumping seated choke slam. Had him up in the ceiling almost with that. Only a two count and Omar kicks out at two. That's enough to take a co-star to the starring role right there. My <laughs> gosh, how did Omar kick out of that? He's trying to get back in this thing, but he has not been right since he went out to the floor here a minute ago. Omar's gonna have to rally. Big clubbing blows to the back now from Rex. I don't even the know crowd. how Omar's getting back up to his knees at this point. The crowd's behind him, he pushes him off. He's trying to get himself together. Another big ax handle to the back now. The crowd is definitely behind Omar Amir. Rex saying that's it. He wants to finish him off. He, uh, if that big choke slam didn't do it, he's going to have to do something big to get him down here. Gets him up. Omar drops behind. Doesn't have enough. Just, just to muster that kick, you can see the pain in Omar's face. He is struggling here. He's rallying, though. There's a big punch to Rex. He's trying to get it back together. Blocks it again. Another punch. Blocks it one more time. Another punch. Here we go. Series uh -oh. of punches. He is rallying now. Rex reverses it, sends him into the ropes. Big clothesline. Does nothing. Nothing whatsoever to Rex. Look out. Oh, Misses. Rex right into the corner. Here comes Omar. Boom. Oh, and my god. over gosh. the top, and he hung on. Woo. I thought he was going to end up in our laps. That was close. Look at this. Big clothesline. Oh. Still doesn't take the big man off his feet. Pushes him back. Ducks under into the ropes again. Omar Another ducks duck under. under. Oh. There he goes, off his feet. The big man is down on the canvas. Here he comes. He may be looking for that island time. There's no way he can get him up. Well, oh my maybe he got. Can. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Island time. That is a whole lot of guy to get up in the air. Here he goes. Two, three. He got him. Wow. Your winner, Omar Amir. Incredible. I thought there was no way he could get 
Rex up in the island time. Did you see the power? Oh, the passion of Omar Amir. You know that he wants the gold. That's what it's all about. He's got that winning state of mind, and I can only see more wins coming his way here in OBW. Man, a great win from Omar Amir. Oh, all right, big win there from Omar Amir taking out Hollywood Rex, who may be, uh, we don't know, could be a Banderas, could be a Scorsese. We're still trying to get to the bottom of that mystery, but Omar Amir, no mystery there, picked up the big win. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this mystery. What are you doing here? What's happening here? What is this? I'm calm, calming down. I'm getting my heart rate down. Okay, thank God. Uh, look, I apologize for yelling earlier. It's not in my nature. I usually don't raise my voice. I was a little taken aback. I was a little upset. I noticed. But I'm better now. Mm -hmm. Breathing exercises help. Sure. Tell you what, mm. I'll do the interview. Oh, thank you. If that'll make the show go by a little smoother and for everything to kind of, you know, jive here, I'll do it. I don't want to do it, but I'll do it. You owe me one. I owe you two because you're too good to me, buddy, is what you are. Okay, so thank you. Look, right. me and my good friend here, we're going to take a minute to tell him how thankful I am for him. But when we come back, we're going to take a look at this last week of OVW television. Lots of excitement, lots of, uh, well, surprises. Stick around. We'll see you right after the break. Thank you. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Even if you've tried before and were unsuccessful in getting rid of your timeshare, call today and see if we can help. We offer a complete 100% unconditional client satisfaction guarantee. Make this completely free call and learn how we can help you legally put an end to your timeshare nightmare once and for all. You have nothing to lose, so call right now to qualify and receive a free consultation. You can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, but you've got to call now. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. Folks, welcome back to OVW Overdrive. It's been an exciting episode, but this past Tuesday on OVW Television was just as exciting. We even opened up Rush Division action. Huge Rush Division match between Star Rider and Gustavo, who I feel is right near the top of the Rush Division. But as they say in OVW, anything can happen at any time, and boy, did it happen. Check it out. All about Shannon, and these guys are the very personification of that. Now that we're going to see some, oh, there we go. Big take over there from Gustavo. Oh, there we go. Star Rider will take down of his own. Guys, I think we're going to see some really fine action today, and I think we're actually going to see a little bit of respect shown in this ring. I uh, caught up with Gustavo backstage, and he said he has a lot of respect for Star Rider. He's seen what, he has, uh, what he's capable of in the ring, and a complete night. For which me. one's which? I could use a fluff. Take your pick. You both need a lot of fluffing. Well, that answer is very important to me. But uh, oh, big. Big running power slam there. Star Rider uh, doing a bit of a power move. Not a lot of speed I, needed I for that I thought one. he had it. Oh, check oh. out the air on that elbow drop by Star Rider. Just drove the elbow straight into that chest of Gustavo. Gustavo's got to be struggling to draw some breaths after that. See if every win means something. I mean, we saw Gustavo actually take dimes, the Russian Division champion, to the yes. absolute oh. limit. Oh. oh! Star Rider taking to Gustavo to the absolute limit there with that big clothesline. What's he got in mind here? Oh, 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 huge drop kick. Brutal. Again, just attacking that midsection of Gustavo. It has to be labored breath at this point for Gustavo, guys. You gotta kind of love the creative offense here of the rush division. Gustavo is the pinnacle of that. I mean, you just see all these different maneuvers out of left field. It, oh, <laughs> oh, three quarters of the way across the ring goes Star Rider. Star Rider uh, treated by the Monkey Flip Express there. Gustavo oh. looking for that La Victoria, but Star Rider able to scout it. Oh, huge knee. Did a tooth just come out? Oh, did you see a tooth? I don't think he had much to lose to begin with. Oh, oh. that may have been another one, too. I think he might have lost about oh, three teeth there. It. What a sequence from Star Rider, really taking it to Gustavo and good ring awareness from Star Rider going for that pin, trying to pick up the I victory. Mean, what could he be thinking going to the top rope here? Here we go. Oh, oh no, he's home. Wonton. 
And we're seeing right now why the Rush division is the most exciting division in OVW. Look at this. Oh, oh. There it is. Yeah. Oh, La Victoria. Is that going to be enough? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Wait, hold oh, on. The legacy of brutality out here. Yeah. So oh, come his, on. Come on. All right. This, this, oh, match is, this match is broken down into a mugging, guys. This is. Give him a mic. Give him a microphone. Get up and give him a Give him a mic. Tim Villain wants to talk. I tried to give him my headset. I, I, Look at these chops right here for cash flow in the ring. This is an absolute murder, guys. The LLP out here. I know you guys are. You ring that bell LLP. again, you're going to lose an arm. The answer is it doesn't matter. They don't have to be invited. Stay on them. This is oh. unfortunately oh, oh. God, a familiar sight as of late, but this should never be familiar, guys. <laughs> I don't know what it is that you people don't understand, and I don't know what those boys in the back, huh? Crush him! Oh my God! I don't see what you guys don't get. Week in, week out, we come out here showing each and every one of you what's gonna happen to those stupid enough to be in the Nightmare Cup tournament. Because, ladies and gentlemen, and all you goofs no, back there, no. this is what you have waiting for you. Is this not enough? Now, normally we don't expect the LOB to be involved in the Rush Division in any sort. However, they got involved here, and you know what? OVW owner Al Snow had had enough of the LOB's interference over the last several weeks and came out and told him exactly what he thought of it. Check it out. We're gonna get somebody out here. You made the biggest mistake of your life, Snowman, when you didn't give me and the rest of the LOB oh, what we awesome. wanted. This show is broken oh, down, guys. Mr. Ashcraft, I think that is about enough. Uh-oh. Oh. Al Snow. He called out Al Snow, and here he is. You all think that you can come out here week after week and behave with absolute impunity. Let me tell you something. You've got another thing coming in. Hey, nobody wants, hey, knock it off or you'll be suspended. You will not continue to disrespect these wrestlers and you will certainly not continue to disrespect these fans. So now, I get it. You all want to stick together. You all want to be a team, the four of you. That's fine. Well, I'm going to let the fans vote, and we're going to pick four of the best of OVWs in the locker room to face you tonight in an eight-man tag. All right, you, that's what wow. you want, out. You want us in an eight-man tag? Fine. And Josh, just be aware, there's a lot more coming, especially for you, pal. All right, so it's set up. Big eight-man tag team match with the LOB against uh, the opponents to be chosen by the fans uh, who voted throughout the night. Absolutely, folks, that's right. Your vote matters. But you know what else matters? Nothing, nothing. Because you know what? Sim Bodie's in the Nightmare Cup, and you should check out who his partner is because the world's just going crazy. Let's check that out. Tim Bodie just driving the air out of Hollywood Adam Swayze here. He's just using all of his weight and driving it all into the chest of Adam Swayze. Mm -hmm. This guy, Tim Bodie's like a weeble wobble, except he does fall down. Steve, Adam Often. Swayze is going to be so traumatized by this match. He's going to go back to Hollywood and write a really good screenplay about it. I can't wait for next Halloween to see the movie. Oh, Tim Bodie there trying to take a Adam Swayze, trying to put it away, but not able to. There you go. There's Swayze. Yeah, there you go. Those are Big thundering right fist. Uh oh. Dustin Bodie was reeling for the first time in this match, guys, but not for long. Hard to take it. Adam Swayze back to the corner. Oh, oh nobody home there. Dustin drives Swayze. his own shoulder. That was it. probably just instinct at this point. I don't think he knows where he is or what he. Well, I say that. They get Adam Swayze just throwing fists and haymakers at this point, guys. That's what you got to do. That's the offense you have to, to, you to gotta, have against you gotta fight him. You can't wrestle yes. him. You got to fight him. You see the frustration on Adam Swayze saying, please, what do I have uh, to do? And he's, maybe run. He's weirding up again. You have to throw anything you can right now. I'm not sure that Simbody even even fills these these right fists. Oh, oh, Simbody caught that one. Adam Swayze even kissed it for good luck, and I guess Sin just wanted that kiss. Oh, now just wrench, wrenching the wrist there of Adam Swayze. The strength of Simbody to catch him mid punch. He's got that monster strength, guys. Uh oh. Oh, he's got, he's got his got nose. nose. Oh, not his rude. nose. Oh. Was it a nose slam? It's like a choke slam, but with a nose, you right. see. Right, yeah, I get it. 
You know, clear your sinuses. Look at this. And to oh. Lula Bell. Sim Bodie hits that to Lula Bell. Is that going to be all she wrote? This thing on? Earth to Major Tom. Is this thing on? I can't hear you. So, there's a Nightmare Cup coming soon. So let me introduce you to my tag team partner. Come on down. Who's it gonna be? What? No. You gotta be. Amon. Amon. The Nightmare Cup has just become truly nightmarish, guys. Amon and Simbodi have entered this eight-man tournament on November seventh. Nightmare Cup is right. The name couldn't be more fitting. It's Saturday, November 7th, we think nightmares are made of. I can get any, I'm one? sorry to anybody in the Nightmare Cup going up against, uh, I'll call them Team C Cinnamon. Sounds tasty, but looks dangerous it's if you ask me. It's a terrible name. Uh, remember when we thought we were going to be in the Nightmare Cup? Could uh, you imagine? I don't want to talk about ah. it, but you know what? Speaking of the Nightmare Cup, we do have that eight-man tag main event. The opponents for the LB chosen by the OVW fans. They chose two people, we're, or two teams we're going to see in the Nightmare Cup. The right. Tate Twins and Dustin Jackson and Hal. Let's go ahead and check that out. This match has been back and forth as you would expect it to be. It's been absolute chaos during the break. Oh, look at that. Oh, my oh. God. Where did Tate just got missing by Isaiah, you guys? sprayed some sort of mist. That's not COVID. Really. Isaiah has been disqualified Isaiah's and been is qualified. eliminated. Isaiah. Cashflow. Look out. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. Cashflow takes out official Dave Harmon. Brent, Brent, Brent Tate ducked out of the way. Cashflow just. Oh my gosh, took out referee Dave Harmon. Oh, huge crossbody cash flow. He just came running at him like a tank. Look out here, oh no! Cash, oh my god! Oh, Dustin Jackson thrown to the outside and seems to have hurt his knee on the way down. Cash flow is just, here, take this. Oh, he's uh -oh. got a table. Yeah. He's got bigger ideas. Ooh, big oh, big boots in the face, Cashflow. In the jaw, Dustin Jackson climbing the top rope. Cashflow can't no. see. Oh, oh my God. Dustin Jackson lands on Cashflow on top of that table. Oh, where's no the referee? Dave Harmon, get to his feet. Can he count it? Not like this. One. Two. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. Your winners, Dustin Jackson, Dustin Jackson, and Brad Tate. The Nightmare Cup, guys. I don't believe it. As crazy as all that was, the night wasn't over. Al Snow made another appearance and had a big announcement regarding who will be representing the legacy of brutality at the Nightmare Cup. It's not me. It's not Brian. Cut the music! You think you're having a bad night, Josh Ashcraft? Let me tell you something, it's about to get a whole lot worse. You consider yourself a part of the LOB? Well, guess what? Saturday night, you're definitely a part of the SNS, the Nightmare Cup. You and pick one of these boys to be your partner because now you are going to be a part of the team that officially defends those tag titles against whoever wins the Nightmare Cup. What? Whoa, Josh, huge news! Josh Ashcraft has been added to the main event of the Nightmare Cup. Josh Ashcraft's gonna be in action on November 7th of the Nightmare Cup, guys. I don't believe it. That's not fair for Ashcraft. That's not fair. That's, he's the leader. He should be the guy who has to compete. Josh Ashcraft, the manager for the Legacy of Brutality, has to wrestle this Saturday night at the Saturday Night Special and defend his half of the Tag Team Championship against whoever wins the Nightmare Cup. Josh Ashcraft is terrified, guys, and I think the Nightmare Cup might be Josh Ashcraft's nightmare. Josh Ashcraft defending the Tag Team titles November 7th. I hope he's ready. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be terrible. November 7th is gonna be very, very interesting, guys.
wow. Okay, so Josh Ashcraft is going to be defending the OVW Tag Team titles in the main event of the, the Nightmare Cup. I'm a little worried about my best friend. I think Josh Ashcraft might have gotten in a little over his head here. Can't uh, wait to see Josh Ashcraft in action. You see uh, a little over his head. You see how terrified he was? You see the look in his eyes? I mean, Josh, sure? I love him to death when he's got all the boys with him, myself included. He's a big, strong guy. But when you put him in there the to boys. defend on his own, you know, he's more of a general. He's not so much of a foot soldier. I mean... I'm worried about him. And here's the thing. I am a proud card carry member of the LOB. Sure, but I, I don't want him to pick me as his teammate. Don't no. want it. No. Well, Spe he but, might. Speaking of not wanting to be picked, we uh, have a big interview. You know what? You have a big interview. I, You've I'll been nice you, enough to, to take got, it off my shoulders. I've got an interview with the OVW heavyweight champion coming right up. Shotgun Tony Gunn. Uh, right. Hold on. What are you doing here? Taking a phone call. What are you this is very important. It shouldn't be more than a minute or ten. I'll be right back. But you're gonna Super be back to the yeah, for the interview. You're gonna be yeah. He's gonna be back, right, Mary? Like he's gonna he wouldn't just leave me hanging. He said he was gonna do the interview, and he he assaulted me last time. So why would Steve put me in harm's ways? He's coming back. I'm sure he's coming back for his interview. It's on again. He'll be here. I trust you. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. It's only $4.99 a month. In between excitement, me too. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99 a month. You get that incredible value. She cost me $17 million and I loved it. Want a real value? OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. It's only $4.99. That's a price so low. Well, it's insane. Ah. I don't, I don't think Steve's coming. I'm gonna. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, OVW Heavyweight Champion, Tonal T T Tony Gunn. Got your name wrong there, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for. Shut up. Okay, okay shut I'm up. Shutting up. I'm shutting up. Before we even start this, you owe me an apology. Excuse me? For what? An apology? For what? I'm the heavyweight champion! And you disrespected me last week. Okay. Now, I apologize for the verbiage I might have used, but I, I, Brian Pillman Jr. wasn't here, and I was just making that clear to you. And I, I apologize that I did something that made you feel like you had no. physically altercated No, me. shut up! I want to hear Mr. Gunn. I'm sorry. That's all you need to say. For the sake of this interview and my safety, quite frankly, Mr. Gunn, I am sorry. Yeah, is that so hard? Okay, no, that wasn't that hard. Uh, but look, okay, speaking of hard, speaking of doing something hard, why do you seem like you're having such a hard time going face to face with Brian Pillman Jr.? Obviously, whoa, whoa, he's been whoa, calling whoa, you. Well, I'm gonna cut you off right there. Uh, I, you got that question all wrong. See, that, there it is, OVW changing the narrative, and you're, you're one of the voices of OVW. Am I staring away from Brian Pillman Jr.? No, it's he that's staying away from me. It's been seven weeks since the 1100 episode of OVW. He's entitled to his rematch. Yeah, he is, but you know what? He's had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity, and now he's lost that opportunity because he fails to show up. Is that, is that what kind of champion OVW wants to see? Okay. In my book, no. So 
are you arguing that the kind of champ they want to see is someone who lays out a challenge to someone that they know is not in the arena? I mean, Tony, I... What I, are you insinuating? Huh? What are you trying to say? I am a real champion. I am a true champion. I've been OVW heavyweight champion for over 240 plus days. I am the greatest champion that this company has ever had. You got that? I'm a fighting champion. I'm the best at what I do in this ring, outside the ring. I'm not gonna let you or anybody else tell me different because that's not reality. Tony, I would never belittle what you've done here in OVW. You are an incredible competitor, but yeah, when you bring up the kind of champion that OVW fans, OVW management want, yeah, I do think they would want a champion that they can rely on that's not gonna ruin a main event for the OVW heavyweight title by doing a cheap shot to service themselves. <laughs> what'd you just say? Tony, I, I didn't, I just said that no, you- No, what'd you just say? The history books show that you, there was a cheap shot. <laughs> I'm gonna make this clear right now to you and everybody else watching this Overdrive program. Brian Pillman Jr., you're nothing, you're a nobody without your late dad, dad, Brian Pillman. Without that name, you'd be just like any other independent wrestler out there that slapped his leg and can't talk on the mic. You lost your opportunity at this heavyweight title. You wanted it, you had seven weeks! No. Your time is done. I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay for dental visits. Did you? I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay for transportation to my doctor. Did you? I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay to have my prescriptions delivered directly to my home. Did you? These and more are important benefits some Medicare Advantage plans may give you. So if you're eligible for Medicare, call us right now because you could enroll in a plan with some amazing additional benefits. Call now. Our number one priority in life is the protection of our loved ones and ourselves. We at Comprehensive Health and Wellness are here to help. During these challenging and uncertain times, Comprehensive Health and Wellness can supply you with the personal protection equipment you need for you and your loved ones to feel more secure. Go to chw.care or call 800-963-7066 to get yours today. That's chw.care or 800-963-7066. Standing at a staggering six foot five and weighing in at an actual 250 pounds. Come yeah. on. See? Dimes. Please. Look at that. He's even got the scale to prove it. <laughs> oh. And He's got his own. <laughs> Jay Bradley just oh. yanked it out of his mouth and threw it out to the crowd. His own stogie, and Jay was not happy about that. Some lucky fan has a souvenir to take home tonight, and Dimes looks like he's disgusted with the cigar anyway, so. These two guys are already in the Nightmare Cup this weekend. They've got to be considered favorites if they can get their acts together. Yeah, yeah. right now it's not looking too good. It's <laughs> And their opponents. Spencer Slade and Manny Lemons. The team of Spencer Slade and Manny Lemons. We've seen both of these guys a couple times. First time as a team, though. It's going to be interesting because, you know, Manny used to working by himself, former Devotion heavyweight champion. Absolutely. And then you also have Spencer Slade, the All-American. He's a football standout. He's got a master's degree. This guy's got all the tools and he wants you to fear the gear. Look at the headgear. I got the, I got news for you, EC. A master's degree isn't going to get you that W in the ring, though, and get you on your way to that heavyweight championship, but that's where he wants to go. Right you are, AJ. I'm not going to deny that. I will say he's smarter than I am, but <laughs> that doesn't say much about me. And the lemons are being distributed by the man of many lemons. 
Am I going to get some lemon today? No. Nope. Over the head, into the back row. There we go. Somebody is, is a little bit sweeter. Maybe a little sour. You know, you take a look at Slade of the ring now. Obviously put together really well. So he's got the athleticism. But can he package all that up, work as a cohesive unit with Manny Lemons? That's really the question. Here we go. There's the bell. Looks like Jay Bradley's going to start things off. Spencer Slade in on the other side. This should be interesting. Jay's wanting to do a test of strength here. I don't know. This ought to be a, uh, oh. ought to be a tough one here. Back and forth now. Get that arm wrenched. Jay ducks under into the side headlock now. Spencer sends him into the ropes. Whips him off. Big shoulder tackle. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. No, no match for the freight train. Oh. It's Jay Bradley. <laughs> and of course. Jay says, who's the man? And Dimes come in and says, who's the man? Dimes is the man, too. Oh, Spencer big Slade. 250. Yeah. Takes Jay Bradley down like he was nothing there. That's that uh, collegiate background. He's uh, Jay Bradley in the wrong corner here. Yeah, he's got to get out of there. Here comes Manny Lemons in now. This is tag team action. Whips him into the rope. Big double elbow sends Jay Bradley down. Comes back up. Oh, look my at God. Lemon. Look at Manny Lemons. Looks like he's going for the lemon drop already on the big man. Oh. No, not happening. Good night. A big headbutt to the back of Manny Lemons into the turnbuckle now. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was brutal. I think he squeezed some lemonade right out of him. <laughs> Something. Here comes Dimes in now, all 250 of him, a big That's chop. right, six foot five, you heard it. You heard Stephanie say it. Another punch to the face. Now see, this is what Dimes is not gonna be able to do in this Nightmare Cup. You can't, you don't have time to pose. You gotta go, man. Dimes trying to get Manny Lemons up now, not, well. He's getting some help oh, from, from look his at partner. That. Yeah, there he, is. yeah he, didn't, he didn't need it. He would have got him up anyway. Super strength right there from Dimes. Oh, big shot for Manny Lemons. You got to keep an eye on Manny Lemons. Got He's to, held the gold. Here he, comes he knows how Spencer Slice back in. He, Manny Lemons is smart, man. He knows what he's doing in there. Oh, oh my back gosh. Elbow. And when I say he's held the gold, I mean titles and lemons, oh, of course. That's, well, big elbow from Spencer Slade there. Spencer's going to take him up. Super, no. Dimes comes around. Oh, big headbutt to the midsection. Chops to the throat now. Referee telling him to stay off that throat. Takes him down with a leg sweep. Tag into Jay Bradley now. That's what a smaller athlete has to do. Not that he's smaller, but, you know, he's got to do to a bigger athlete is take him off his feet. Here comes Dimes off that second turnbuckle. Oh, <laughs> headbutt right to the mm. lemons. Yeah, there you go. Okay. There you go. That's, that's a good way to go with it. <laughs> Jay Bradley with the cover now, two count. Then as uh, uh, Spencer kicks out at two, man. All right, Jay Bradley looking for a vertical suplex, maybe. Another tag to Dimes. Draping him over the top rope. Oh, oh my gosh. What an elbow to the back. These two. He says cover him. And Dimes, one, two. Dimes is like, why? Well, that's the name of the it's, game, Dimes. You gotta, if you want to win, that's what you got to do. You got to pin the man. You got to pin him or submit him. You're not going to do it by doing push-ups in front of him. Wasting too much time here. Yeah, but if push-ups add muscle, he could be at 275 by next oh week, AJ. Oh, my gosh, really? Oh, <laughs> wow. Big punch right to the ear, too. That'll knock you loopy. Spencer Slade's got to get out of that corner, though. Big man back in. Here comes Jay Bradley. He'll be looking for that boomstick oh. here soon. What's this? Oh, my goodness. Chops. Oh, oh look he's at doing, this. He's doing dive. Is that dive? God, oh, that Lord. is shades of the great Tracy Smothers. Oh, wow. He lost this week. Uh, he helped uh, Jay Bradley early in his career as he did many, many athletes in this business. Little, uh, little tribute there to Tracy. Oh, big shoulder block shoulder off that block. second turnbuckle. That's 300 pounds legit coming at you there. And then Dimes comes in for the tag. Only a now, two wait count. a minute. Did he make the tag? I guess he did. Yeah, yeah Daniel he, Spencer says Dimes is the legal man. He made the blind tag, and he's like, he's. They're fighting over who's going to make the tag. They have got to get on the same page for they, uh, for yeah. the Nightmare Cup here. This is not going to bode well for wait, them. Wait, wait, look at this. Look at this. Here Spencer comes, Slade. Yeah, in for the tag. Here comes Manny Lemons. Look out. Boom. Axe handle. 
Un big clothesline. clothesline. Down goes Dimes. We'll miss that one. Oh! Shoulder block almost My. knocked him out of his boots. Here we go, lemon drop time. Manny Lemon Dang. nails oh him with gosh. it. This could be it. No, where's he going now? He's going up to the top. He should be going for that pin. I don't know what uh, Manny Lemons is thinking now. Here comes Spencer Slade. Punches to Bradley now. No. He's, oh. oh. <laughs> Catches again. him right on that top row. Getting oh. juiced again. Both the of them got juiced that time. Wow. And a low blow from Dimes. Oh. There'll be no citrus tonight. He's Jay asking Bradley, for the tag. Yeah, Dimes is saying no, finally makes the tag. Oh, here it goes. We've seen this before. 550 pounds. Oh, and it's got to be over now. That's it. Your winner, Jay Bradley no how they and did Dimes. I don't know. that Somehow with the dysfunction, they still make it work. Jay Bradley and Dimes picking up another win. They've got to become more of a cohesive unit, though, for the Nightmare Cup. Otherwise, they are going to be doomed if they don't get it together. A lot of great teams in that tournament. And if they want the gold more than Dimes already has, they got to get it together. But another win, Jay Bradley and Dimes here on Overdrive. Uh, I'm sorry. The interview seemed to have gone well from my perspective. So that's good. Um, uh, the, so the phone call, as it turns out, you know uh, those, uh, if you want a good time call that you find in the truck stops and stuff like that. So I was in Delaware a while back and I, I put my number up. And I will tell you what, that is one of the smartest things that I have ever done. The business, the business is booming, folks. From all different angles, I swear, there's a Nigerian prince involved. I've got a gold investment with some guy with the initials JJ. That's okay. I, I just, there's so much going on. I just, I, I'll tell you, if you can, go to a truck stop, throw your number up. Boom, big business. I'm sorry. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I gotta go explain this to Brian. I got a, a gold thing that I'm gonna push on him. See you next week. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow, the wrestling brand.